Alright, I don't usually play Game Boy games, but it was a first time for everything, and now you know why I can never go back to SeaWorld. <laughs> you know this game is shitty, when it eats its own star button. It's as if the game is saying, this game is so shitty, don't play it. <laughs> shitty. <laughs> In any event, you play as this anthropomorphic shitty pickle man named Pablo Joe's the janitor. He recently fleed his home country of one Hanamaker because he ate his own birth certificate in an attempt to fake his own death. Wait a minute. Side scrolling arcade action. Jumping. Green colored hero who is unlikely to be any older than 19. Where have I seen this before? Oh, yes. I saw this last night after happy hour, when grandma was drunk on my hugs and kisses. It's a good thing I had a magic mushroom in my pocket, and turned into Mario. And by that, I mean I woke up half naked in a Denny's parking lot, with grandma niggling on my ear. The game's graphics serve their purpose for the money, but they are rather ugly, and I would rather not look at them. In other words, this reminds me of sexual intercourse with my wife of 35 years. Ha 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 No granny, please don't get jealous. And what's with the enemy's choice of weaponry? It looks like somebody's vomited up leftovers, repulsive byproducts of something once juicy and delicious. In other words, they're like angry video game reviews circa 2011. Giggle giggle giggle. Mamma mia. You. Fuck. Shit. Foul. Oh. Damn. Fuck. Come on. This game is hearted and Michael Jackson and Jerry Sandusky, after attending a McDonald's birthday party outside the ball pit. After doing a little bit of research, that joke was too soon, and I apologize. To summarize my feelings on this game, if you don't know who the Toxic Avengers are, don't play it, because it won't even be nostalgic for you. And if you do know who they are, if you play this game you will find that it tried too hard and it tore your feelings like you had none and ripped them away. Yeah, so this game is certainly fluent and knows what it is. And it's sure it's a little limited, not exactly the heir apparent to River City Ransom or whatever, but it's cool that you can control the rate of your punches, jump over the poisonous green ooze, and dodge enemy attacks if your reflexes are sharp enough. So it's a pretty decent beat em up. Also, that sunset's kind of pretty, well shaded, and a really delicate and aesthetically pleasing blend of two complementary colors, which is pretty unique for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Shut up, you bitch. Okay.